Pikes Peak Race is the craziest uphill race you have in, in the world. It's a very fast road. Pikes Peak is the most crazy race, that's for sure. It's a hill climb race, so you go from uh, 2,200 meters to 4,400 meters on a small road. With uh, The road is 20 kilometers with 156 uh, corners. It's very challenging in terms of with altitude, first of all. It's also very risky <laughs> because you don't have any barrier and so on. At 4,000 meters, if you do a mistake, you can go down for a long time. People have been racing up Pikes Peak in Colorado Springs, Colorado since 1916. And while the 12 mile course has changed just a little bit over the years, the chariots that the brave racers have strapped themselves into are radically different. And this is the latest evolution. It's the Volkswagen ID.R, a racer that can sprint from zero to 60 in just 2.25 seconds and has 680 horsepower courtesy of a pair of electric motors. Yes, that's right, this is all electric and emissions free. To be as fast as possible on this road, we, we go there with an electric car. It's the lightest uh, electric car we could build and the most powerful one and just to try to beat the electric record of Pikes Peak. Pikes Peak has actually become a bit of an EV racer proving ground. Why? Well, gas powered cars struggle with the climb because as the altitude increases, the air density decreases. Less air means less power, a problem that doesn't affect EVs. And thanks to all the braking for the tight turns, VW says the car's regenerative brakes will provide about 20% of the power it needs to make the 12.42 mile climb. It will be a big advantage, definitely. Uh, no problem with the uh, with engine on altitude, you don't lose any power. So that will be a big step, definitely. We know that on, on the electric car, the battery are the very heavy bit. So we are we are still have heavy battery, but we are working hard to, to make them lighter and lighter. And uh, one day we think it will be I mean, this year we will not be able to beat the, the petrol engine, but we have good hope that in the future we'll be uh, faster than the petrol engine car there. Romain Dumas will be the one strapping into the low, beautiful prototype racer, a man who's won at Pikes Peak in the past and has a pair of Le Mans victories too. His goal? 8 minutes and 57 seconds, the EV record set by Ries Millen in 2016. The overall record is held by rally superstar Sebastian Loeb, who in 2013 ran a Peugeot 208 to the top in 8 minutes and 13 seconds. It's the first time that I see the car today, I have to say I'm very surprised. This car looks just amazing. They work very, very hard the last months, but uh, it looks incredible. Very aggressive in terms of design, a lot of downforce. So uh, yeah, now I want to test the car and to see. It will be a lot of difference, you know, because uh, I mean, now you can see already this electric car on the road is completely different. Uh, first of all, when you are a race car driver, you judge your speed with for sure with the noise of the engine, with the gears, and also with the visibility, with the view, with the speed view. And uh, right now, we'll have no gears, we'll have no noise, so we only, we'll have only the view. Now, this isn't Volkswagen's first run up the hill. In 1987, VW fielded this ridiculous golf driven by Yockey Klint. The car had not one but two 1.8-liter 16-valve engines, not unlike those used by the production Golf, giving a combined 650 horsepower pretty close to the new IDR. Sadly, a transmission failure kept that goal from getting to the top, but we have a feeling Volkswagen's new electric racer will fare much better.